This is the assembly instructions for the TTV. Um, kind of a general overview. Um, this is a two-stage rocket. Um, it has a booster stage and an upper stage. The difference between this and other two-stage rockets is if you look down through it, you can't see the motor here. This acts like a nose cone um, and it will be attached to a parachute inside. Um, so this requires indirect staging where most black powder rockets are fired direct staging. So this is good for composite motors uh, because composite motors have to be lit from the top, not from the bottom. Um, so what we're going to do here is inside of this rocket is an eBay and inside that eBay will be your electronics, something like this, a timer um, that will ignite the upper stage motor. So the upper stage and the bottom stage are completely independent of each other. So that way um, you can put a composite motor in the top stage. Uh, the backbone of this rocket is the eBay itself. Um, this is a relatively small rocket, small in diameter, and most small rockets, when they use electronics, what they'll do is they'll put the electronics down into the tube. So the, the electronics, you know, the circuit board and the battery, oftentimes they just flop around. And when you shake the rocket, you'll hear them rattle. In this rocket, we wanted to put the, the uh, electronics on a hard mounted sled so that no matter any shaking that goes on, the, the electronics stays solid. And for something like a timer like this one that has an orientation to it, uh, we don't want the timer tilted because that would cause it to turn itself off if it was tilted too far. So we want it nice and vertical. Um, this eBay, I, have, I did not design it. We had our designer here, Martin J. McKee, design it. And I think it's a work of art. Um, if, an engineering work of art because in engineering um, you try to minimize the parts as much as possible and only add them if absolutely necessary. So now it looks pretty complex. Um, you've never seen an eBay like this. So it is a little bit more complex looking from the outside. But when you start assembling it, it goes together like a jigsaw puzzle. The pieces mate together. Not only do they mate together, you know, like this centering ring with the body tube and the outside tube, but it also mates with other parts as well. So there was a lot of engineering involved to make sure that all the parts fit together. It's structurally strong, even though it doesn't need to be. Um, and then everything fits so nicely. So that makes it such a pleasure to build. Um, so this eBay, um, if we had to design it over and if we had an unlimited budget, we would say, let's get a really long coupler. But the, in reality, we're not going to sell 10,000 of these kits. And when we order a new part like this, we have to, the, our manufacturer requires that we order 10,000 of them. Um, so we knew we weren't going to be able to get a long coupler. So we took a regular coupler like this and we split it um, so that when it's spliced together, you get a nice long coupler, which gives you plenty of room for your eBay and there's even room right, right in here for your battery. Um, so that's what, you know, splicing the coupler allows us to do. But on the downside of that, it makes it a little bit harder to assemble. And that's what I wanted to get at is putting this coupler together is probably the most critical aspect of, of assembling this. And so I want you to be aware of that um, as you're doing that. Everything else goes together really easy, but getting these two couplers aligned, uh, we want it to be nice and straight um, so that it slides in and out of the tube easily. 
and uh, so that it doesn't make our, our, our rocket crooked right in the middle because our eBay on this rocket is right here. Um, in fact, it, it goes together and it uses um, plastic rivets to hold it together so that it can just slide apart like that. Now, if these couplers were be crooked, um, it wouldn't slide on so easily. So that's why we want it nice and straight. So in our next video, we'll actually start the assembly and it is the eBay itself because this is kind of like the spine of the rocket and we want a nice straight spine. So we're going to start with that and we're going to make sure that that's going well first before we start doing anything else. So until the next time, uh, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.